In this video, I'm highlighting another way to very easily identify Purdue fraud that's plastered all over the clerk's website. First notice in the top right corner are all three separate unrelated case numbers. With the arrows, you see three separate amounts, one for $668, then the next two for $323. And then on the very bottom left circled, you see that they were all satisfied, two of them on the very same day, January 27th, and the other one on the 28th. Next coming up on your screen are these three case numbers and these three photos individually so you can get a better look at them. Case number ending in 63, $668 satisfied on January 28th. Case number ending in 67, $323 satisfied on January 27, 2022. Case number ending in 40, again $323 and satisfied on January 28, 2022. Mail fraud committed by Purdue on September 15, 2021. Case number ending in 40, saying that $323 was owed on this case to avoid driver's license suspension. When the second payment was forced in order to have the driver's license reinstated after suspension, notice only $10 was applied to this case. Very cleverly, they put a disclaimer highlighted in blue at the bottom of your screen saying financial assessments are for informational purposes only, but there are millions of inconsistencies, so they can't get away with that. Case number ending in 6-7. Again, $323 judgment satisfied, but only a total of $18 was applied to this case, and again, their BS disclaimer case ending in 6-3. Now in this one, there was a $668 fraudulent judgment that was satisfied and they only applied $10. And why? Just above the $10 payment, you can see it was paid back in March of 2012, like the other cases. All this information that I'm showing you guys today was reported to the FBI in January of 2022. I then took multiple trips to the FBI and I was shunned away over and over again. Had conversations with Officer F, Officer Hess of the FDLE, who is an absolute fool and needs to be terminated as quickly as possible. These were all the cases that you're seeing on your screen now that were submitted to the Department of Civil Rights in August. But I, and the number is just growing. I have an, about another additional 15 more cases now than I did when I sent this over. So, because I'm continuing the investigation. This has to be stopped, guys. This is fraud. Purdue was established in 1970. They've been doing this scheme and this scandal since at least 2003, at the very latest, at the very earliest. So that's the reason it's so difficult to get justice. And just think about all the people that they've done this to that have been unable to fight back. It's just unfair, unjust, and it must be corrected immediately. If you made it to the end, thank you very much. Please like, share, and subscribe.